This is Damon Cart from NLP Gym. How well are you learning NLP? If you haven't already, please click subscribe to this YouTube channel so you can get these videos on a regular basis. In this video, I continue my interview with renowned Ashtanga yogi Melanie Fowler on basically modeling Ashtanga yoga and taking those principles and those ways of practicing and mapping that over to learning NLP. Ashtanga has a method and a way of teaching students yoga and Melanie Fowler in particular embodies that teaching and how to move her students rapidly through learning yoga and receiving all the benefits of yoga and I've applied all of those learnings that I learned from her and learning from my own Ashtanga practice to NLP to rapidly move me through learning NLP and getting better at it. Remember to check out the additional videos in this series with Melanie Fowler as we speak more about practicing, learning, and teaching. What keeps you motivated in this practice? I mean, I'm just, it's just what I do at this point, you know? The sutras talk about doing yoga or doing anything really until it's really rooted into your person and into your being, and uh, I think at this point, this many years later, it's, I just can't even di differentiate, like, what's my life, what's yoga, I just, they're together, mm -hmm. you know, so, um, that's exactly what I say, too, about NLP, is, like, um, I had, <laughs> I talked to this person on the phone, and he sent me an email later, and he was trying to break down the conversation, because um, we use language patterns in NLP, and, and he, he actually had memorized the conversation quite well and had written it out mm. and was trying to break it down. He was like, you know, he's asking me these questions. I'm like, I don't really understand what you're asking. He goes, so you weren't using NLP or were you using NLP whenever I was talking mm. to you? And I was like, right, it's I probably fun. was, but I wasn't aware of it. And I remember the first time I had probably been practicing for about a year at Shtanga. Uh -huh. And I started noticing how my breathing was syncing up with every movement that I did. Yeah. And I wasn't even trying. It was, and in doing that, I was in a state of flow because it's when we hold our breath, and you taught me that. Because yeah. I would be holding my leg up or something, and I would be holding my breath, and you'd come over and you'd go, breathe. <laughs> and suddenly I would breathe, and I was like, oh yeah, now I can hold my leg up, yeah. and then I can move. And I, it's yeah, amazing that's how much some of the early do. stuff I remember too is just as an early, you know, when I was younger practicing, noticing, you know, when I'd be driving, you know, how my shoulders were, and I could relax them, or when I was holding my breath and, you know, taking the stuff off the mat of Ashtanga and applying it. And right. Yeah, I mean, the idea behind getting really good at NLP is not that you're constantly thinking, oh, I'm going to use NLP, I'm going to use NLP mm -hmm. on someone. It's actually living the, the NLP, living the experience and the practice to where you're seeing things through, we, we have, like, the presuppositions of NLP, which or not really beliefs, but they're sort of, well, they're presuppositions and it's about helping you see things more with more possibility and opportunity rather than limitation. Mm -hmm. And I find that, you know, the more you, you just start to live that and you start to see possibility and you start to realize when, you know, something is, uh, you're blocking something and it has something to do with the way that you're thinking or the way that you're wording the, or your thoughts, you know. The same thing in my body with Ashtanga is like I can feel a limitation and I go, oh, okay, well, I know how to do this. I can just breathe, mm -hmm. I can relax, and then I can move through it. And then if I can't get through it right then, if I keep repeating that movement, you it's going to happen. Yeah. yeah. So I guess that's what you're talking about, how you notice when you accomplish something in your asana practice that it translated to other parts of your life. Now, which we're going to get to in a second. Oh. <laughs> but if somebody's watching this and they're wanting to be really good at NLP, which is not something you've studied, but using Ashtanga or the maybe the mindset or the belief structure or whatever to to be repetitive and to just keep practicing the same thing until you live it. I mean, I think that's what I would say. Whether it, regardless of what it is, just consistent study, practice, and application. You can only read so much, but if you don't put it into practice, you're never going to really truly get it in your body, in your mind. Period. So. Yeah, even the days you don't feel like practicing, at least, you know, make that first effort and then you'll probably find that it keeps going, you mm -hmm. know, and it'll keep going. Okay. I mean, I, I kind of think it's the same thing. I mean, whether you're using it as a practitioner to improve your life or to coach or to teach, if you do not know it, how can you teach it? 
you know. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I wouldn't want to see a therapist who'd never been through the therapeutic process, you mm -hmm. know. Um, and I think it's the same thing. If you want someone to come and trust you, then it's got to it's got to resonate through your being that you understand and you can walk the walk, you know, not just mm -hmm. talk the talk. So, yeah. Like like Ashtanga, I think NLP attracts people who they don't really they're not very clear about what it is they want. When I came to you for yoga, I wasn't clear about what I wanted. That doesn't matter. You don't have to have any clarity. Right. So something. Um, I, I, a lot of people come into NLP because they, they know they, they're not, they can't really articulate, but they're not, there's something missing, they're not living their potential. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what happened when I entered your studio. It was like physically I felt like I wasn't living my potential and something mm -hmm. was missing. Well, and for some people that resonates, and for some people it scares them away. So yeah, definitely. You know, yeah. Um, it sounds like NLP kind of can meet that person at the place they're in, and so can Ashtanga, it doesn't have any requirements, but inevitably you have to step up, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then if you're going to want to make the most out of your life. When you meet that student, because this happens a lot, I get people come to me um, with wanting to be better at NLP, and I can tell they're not clear on what they want to use it for, which is not a bad place to be necessarily, because I didn't really know either, I didn't know when I came to you for Ashtanga, and that's that journey for ourselves that we have to, to find. And a teacher is just sort of there to, um, a little bit of guidance. But like what I love what you said earlier about, uh, it's ultimately about becoming your own guru, your own teacher. You're, mm -hmm. You are the And that's what Ashtanga does for you. And that's mm -hmm. what I try to tell people in NLP is like, this is really about you becoming your own authority. Sure, you go to a teacher for a little bit, but it's about building that up in you. And so people will come to me and I can tell they're not committed to practicing it, they're, they've got one foot out and one foot in, and they're yeah. dabbling. And I'm, yeah. I just want to tell them, it's like, make a decision, you know, yeah. because you're not, you know, you're not going to get good results either way. Yeah. So when a student comes to you and you can tell they're sort of in that phase where they're maybe practicing twice a week or something like that, yeah. and they come to you and they're struggling, what do you, what would be your advice? Um, I handle different students different ways and some I might be more direct with and kind of give them a, like a, an order so to speak and hope that they meet me at that and start upping their practice um, because I feel that that kind of uh, instruction might be beneficial and might work with them and others I'm more just, um, just kind of going with what they have to give and just trying to impart that the more they do the more they're going to get out of it but I've definitely learned over the years you cannot you can't have an expectation though for what that student is going to do or not do. You can just only sort of hold their space and guide them and give them love and support throughout and just help them on their process. There's not a timeline that everyone's going to do it the way that I did it and the timeline I did it. Same for you. I don't know if you have that experience, but um, so for me, it, it just depends on the student. Yeah. But I do, I do try to bring to the teaching. Um, I want them to trust themselves and in terms of being their own best teacher, to ask themselves the right questions, not to just take what somebody, whether it's me or a teacher in another state when they're traveling says, but to be able to take that instruction, physically try it out for themselves, see how it resonates in the body, see how it resonates, you know, through their whole system and make sure it's an intelligent instruction, not just because someone tells you something because it's not always correct. And so if you just go blindly walking through life, just doing what people tell you, not going to get very far. <laughs> and there are plenty of people who will be around you to tell you. <laughs> oh, yeah, you'll never find a shortage of bosses, will you? Yeah. 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 So. Check out my website, nlp-gym.com. Follow me on Facebook for real-time updates on upcoming workshops and free practice sessions that I hold in Santa Cruz, California. If you like this video, please click like right down here and leave me a comment or a question. I will follow up with you. Stay tuned to the end of this video so you can see how you can get your hands on a free NLP online training. Take care.